In this tutorial, I'll go a little bit further from the simple mass objects shown in another video to more design-oriented foam concept that is combined of more than just one mass object. And last, give some tips and tricks if the mass flaws function is not working correctly with these masses. First of all, you will always create more than just one concept and instead of having all these different concepts in different files with Vasai you have the option of having different design concepts within the same file. Therefore I always use design options for the different form concepts. If you want to take the step further going more into designing the object so it's not only simple masses, something like this. Let's say we have a concept with some kind of round shape on a plinth with the atrium penetrating through this cylinder shape and a other shape defining the entrance of this proposal. This is made of one, two and three mass objects. To show how this can be done I go to model, create a new mass. In this case I want to make a cylinder so I choose circle. Make sure I'm drawing on a work plane level 2 because it's a lifted one and sometimes it's easier to draw from the top and then specify a radius for this building and we can see what's going on over here in this view so we can see if we create the same. Then I can say this one should be extruded. I can just pull in the shape panel and maybe I want to have it going up to level 5 using a line in this way. Maybe lock it if I change the level height then it will follow and then I will create another family for creating this atrium. I'll just finish this one, create a new mass, top view again, create a circle and give this atrium a radius as well, something like this. And in the same way I want to extrude it by taking in the shape panel and this one should be a little bit higher than the other cylinder, something like this. Finish this one as well, create a third one to make this entrance part, create mass, go to a top view. This time I want to create it by a center end arc, something like this and then use simple lines to create into the center or core of this shape. And all the time I'm aware of which work plane I'm modeling on, so I pull this up maybe using a line to align it up to level 2 and lock it. If I change the level height then it will follow and then finish this mass as well. And now I have three masses that is not combined and I can combine and extract objects from each other by using cut and by selecting uncut I can uncut objects again. I want to extract this from this one then I start by the big cylinder and then the small one then we can see the big cylinder's shape is changed because now the small cylinder is extracted. And I do the same with this with this part down here. That one I want to extract something from. I select first and then the object I want to extract with. And now we get this kind of shape built of three different masses. As an extension to the study of form and volumes we could give these form mass flaws so we can count the square meters and we're doing that by selecting the different objects and click on mass flaws, select those levels we want to use for the different shapes, typical I choose everyone and then it will create mass flaws within these objects. Especially for the atrium I only want to have mass flaw in the bottom because it's an atrium penetrating the big cylinder. So for this one I'm only selecting level 1 and then it will only create mass flaw at level 1. Here I have opened up a schedule window showing mass flaws and if we look more closely on the schedule under mass family, in this case it's called mass name, we can see there's three different kind of mass families and that is these three different ones we have. So mass 29, that's the big cylinder. We can also see it have square meters on 2, 3 and 4 and 5 level and for the atrium that is only for level 1 and for the entrance part here, mass 31, there is also only one level. And last, when it's created into mass flaws, it's automatically created as a zone model for energy analysis. And we can see this by changing from show mass to show mass surface or zone. And now we can see it consists of a lot of zones, so the energy simulation will be quite accurate when it's divided up in smaller zones. 
In this example, I will show some tips if it doesn't want to create mass floors. For example, this one, the round shape, I have created into mass floors, but it don't want to create these mass floors. I have another mass here and a third one here to create this design concept. I have tried to union them and edit them and as you can see here it's a cylinder used with reference line and so on and when I say finish it gets this warning about it cannot create mass flaws. A method to get this to work I can unjoin the geometry select the big one now it creates mass flaws. first I'll just want to unjoin everything to make sure it's not joined and as you can see now it is not cutting this atrium cylinder away from the big one. So I need to do this manually by using cut geometry, select the one I want to cut something away from and then the object to cut and the same with this small mass here. I want to cut the triangle part in here in the atrium away. So I select this one and that one and I want to cut this away from the, the plinth, selecting the plinth and then the entrance here and again to extract the atrium cylinder and as we can see here it now creates mass floors fine for those objects I want to have mass floors within and to show that it also worked with the energy model I can change from just show mass to show mass surface and mass zones the function I used for getting this to work was starting by unjoin geometry and then use the cut geometry to cut the different masses away from each other